pasta making classes each. And in fact, I don't think it was all day. I think it was like over a lunchtime period. So I was like, oh, that's a lot of monies. And yes, homemade pasta is so yum. Yes, we'll, we'll definitely be making some homemade pasta, that's for sure. I got a little pasta maker for, uh, for free from my local Buy Nothing group. Which, if anyone doesn't know, it's all around hyper local gift giving. Just about every place has their own, like every place in the world basically has a buy nothing group and if you don't then you can start one yourself which is really cool and that's also another great way to make friends actually which i've had a few potential <laughs> potential friendos that's cool we every you know when you look on the facebook group everything's gonna be for free which is awesome so i saw a pasta maker that um someone just literally never used it was sitting in their garage and they were giving it away because they're like nope it's just taking up space and now it is my pasta maker boysy dogs and bunnies <laughs> yeah cinnamon rolls and hot cocoa beach trip sounds lovely it does little Addy in the back. Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but Addy had her first ever puppuccino the other week, about two weeks ago, which was just the most exciting thing ever. We went to the beach. Well, not down to the beach, but we we're up on the cliff face overlooking the beach. And yeah, Addy had a puppuccino and it went everywhere. She got like, I think it's like whipped cream maybe. And it had little bacon bits in it. And it went everywhere. It went all over her head. <laughs> Plus she was licking it so fiercely that she just licked it all over her head. She got on her paws. It was like all up my arm. It was it was madness. It was right before we went out to lunch and I was like, well, I am covered. Covered in bacon bits and whipped cream. <laughs> but it made her so happy, so it was worth it. When you try that here, people tend to not want to get the free stuff. They'd rather buy, they'd rather buy it new. Oh, that's definitely not, not my style. If I can get something for free, I'm gonna just, it's, I find it just so satisfying to find something. That's why I love thrift shopping so much. Cause it's like a treasure hunt. I've always got like a little list in my phone with all the things that I want to find from an op shop when we go. It's like antique shopping, It's but without the hefty, hefty price tag. So I love that. And a lot of the time they have like free things as well. So I've got some really cool old timey cookbooks from op shops for free. A lot of the time books can be free at op shops. So I haven't, I haven't even shown you, but I have a stack of books, like of free books over there. My hands are super buttery at the moment, so I won't grab them out, but I find it so satisfying when I'm looking for something and then I find a really, really good deal on it instead of overpaying. Because overpaying, I don't know, it just never feels, I never find it, it's, it feels good to me. So free things, yay. At thrift stores do not really exist yet. Oh. Okay, well, that is sad. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Yeah, Harley! Welcome, Harley! Guess what, Harley? We are making the 400 cinnamon rolls. And you had a huge part in this, because I remember you saying cinnamon rolls at some point. And I'm pretty I'm pretty sure you planted that in my mind, cinnamon rolls. <laughs> and then a few other people were like, yes, do the cinnamon rolls. Congrats on 400. Well, we're now at 428. Woohoo! <laughs> That's amazing. Yes, how are you doing, Harley? How's things? I'm gonna go wash my hands because they are 